Hello everyone, welcome to you learn education online channel. In the previous video, we have discussed what is FM transmitter and how the FM transmitters are classified. In brief, we have seen what do you mean by direct FM transmitter and the indirect FM transmitter. Now, in today's video, we are going to see in detail about the reactance modulator FM transmitter or direct FM transmitter. As we know that the definition of FM indicates that here the modulation will occur in when the carrier signal characteristics will superimpose with the amplitude of message signal. So in FM, the amplitude of carrier signal is constant but the carrier signal frequency is continuously varying in accordance with the instantaneous amplitude of message signal or modulating signal. Now let us see what are the blocks involved in order to generate an FM signal. If you observe, it mainly consists of four blocks. One is the reactance modulator and second one is an oscillator. Third one is the frequency multiplier. Fourth one is the class C power amplifier. And thereafter it is connected to matching network. From the matching network the signal is transmitted through the transmitting antenna. Now what is the purpose of reactance modulator? So in FM transmitter, this reactance modulator is mainly used in order to convert the changes of amplitude variations of message signal into corresponding frequency variations. That is theoretically. In practically, what we do is in with the help of oscillator circuit and the reactance modulator circuit simply we will convert the changes present in the message signal or a modulating signal amplitude variations to the reactance okay thereafter from the reactance change to frequency variation we will do so simply with the help of a reactance modulator and oscillator circuit, first we will convert the amplitude variations of message signal to reactance variations. Thereafter, from reactance variations, we will convert to frequency variations. This is the procedure. In practical, simply the oscillator circuit is a tank circuit. Okay, and we have to see what is the circuit that is used in the reactance modulator. Generally, the varactor diode is used for generating FM signals. Okay, but number of devices are there whose reactance can be varied by the application of amplitude of message signal or the voltage of message signal. In general, we can use either the transistor or FET and if it is biased properly, it the terminals of transistor and FET exhibits the reactance modulation property. Okay, in this case, I am assuming the reactance modulator circuit as a FET. And here, I am assuming that with the proper biasing, the FET is behaving as a three terminal reactances and that may be connected to the tank circuit of an oscillator to produce the FM signal. Let us see what is the FET reactance modulator circuit is. Okay, so this is the FET reactance modulator circuit. Here, with the proper biasing of the FET, the three terminals that is gate, source and drain will itself act as a reactances and simply this will be connected to the tank circuit of an oscillator. So, this is the circuit description. Now, here we have to mathematically prove that the change in the voltage will convert to reactance and from the reactance change it will convert to the frequency variation. Okay, so that we have to prove mathematically. As we know that here this reactance, I am assuming uh, that as an impedance Z and Z is in terms of reactance value. So from this circuit, here E is the total voltage and EG is the gate voltage applied to the FET. And from this I have to find out the Z that is impedance value. And that too this impedance value should be in terms of reactance. Okay. And here we know that the reactance of the FET is always proportional to the transconductance that is GM of the device which can be made dependent on the gate bias voltage variations. So as we know that the transconductance value 
is defined as mathematically that is change in the output current to the change in the input voltage by maintaining the output voltage constant. So for this fact, the output current is nothing but the drain current ID and the input voltage is the gate to source voltage that is VGS and the output voltage is drain to source voltage that is VDS. Okay, by keeping VDS as constant, we have to find out what is the value of ID and what is the value of VGS. So from this figure, I can write the impedance as from the Ohm's law, we can write impedance as voltage by current. Okay, and here what is the voltage that we have to consider? It is an output voltage to the output current. Why? Because this impedance is ca carried out across the output terminal. So here the output voltage is E and the output current is ID. So I can write Z is equal to E by ID. Okay, Z is equal to E by ID. Now we have to find out what is the value of E and what is the value of ID. Then thereafter substitute in this Z equation. Okay, now first find out what is the value of ID. Okay, so we know that from the transconductance that is from the value of GM, I can write the output current as ID and the input voltage as EG. Why? Because here the source terminal voltage is connected to ground practically. From this, I can write ID as EG into GM. Now we have to find out what is the value of EG. As we know that for the FET, a negative voltage is applied. Since this negative voltage is very very small, we can say negligible value is applied to the gate terminal. So by simply applying the voltage division rule, I can find out the voltage across the R is nothing but EG and its value is total voltage E into corresponding branch impedance that is R by total impedance. Now we know what is the total impedance that is minus JXE for the capacitor. Then it is R minus JXE. So finally I can write the value of EG as E into R by R minus JXE. Now simply substitute the value of EG in this ID expression. Thereafter we will get the ID value as E into R by R minus JXE into GM. And now we have find out the value of ID. As we know that the value of Z is E by ID. Since ID is find out simply substitute this in this equation. Therefore we will get the Z is equal to E by ID. It is ER into GM into R minus JXC. Okay. So now here E and will get cancelled. So finally Z is equal to R minus JXC by GM into R. Now split this LCM. That is Z is equal to RR will get cancelled. So it is 1 by GM minus J into XC by GM into R. So finally we can say that the value of Z is presented in terms of resistance and also in terms of reactance. Here the reactance is due to the capacitor. Okay. Now as we know that the resistance is far less than the reactance of capacitor then I can negligible this term that is 1 by GM. So finally I can write Z is equal to minus J into XC by GM into R. Now what is the reactance we will get? XC is equal to 1 by 2 pi FC. Okay. Now consider the magnitude. So magnitude of J will be 1. Then it is equal to 1 by 2 pi FC GM into R. So let us assume this C GM into R as some C equivalent. So C equivalent is equal to GM into RC. Therefore finally the value of Z is equal to 1 by 2 pi F into C equivalent. So here this uh, C equivalent has the dimensions of capacitance. How? Since the GM into R, unit of GM is more and the unit of resistance is ohm. So these two units will get cancelled. So finally the equivalent uh, capacitor value will be the dimension of capacitor that is farad. 
okay so finally this impedance z of fat will act as a capacitive reactance so with the change in amplitude variations of message signal then the reactance that is nothing but the capacitive reactance of the reactance modulator will change and itself it will produce the corresponding frequency variation so this is the mathematical procedure uh, to say that the reactance modulator will act as a capacitive reactance and it will produce the changes in the frequency corresponding to the changes in the amplitude of message signal okay now let us see what is the next block that is present so here we are using the frequency multiplier so finally i can say that the output of an oscillator circuit is an fm signal okay so here the third block is a frequency multiplier this frequency multiplier is used in order to increase the carrier frequency to maintain the gain of feedback loop and also the gain of feedback loop is determined by the frequency multiplication constant however proper care must be taken to stabilize the feedback loop otherwise the oscillations may occur because of variations in the message signal amplitude and also the variations that are present in the frequency at the output of reactance modulator okay now thereafter it is passed through the class c power amplifier here the class c amplifiers are used for fm transmitters because if there are any small variations that are present in the amplitude of fm signal those amplitude variations of fm signal are usually removed in the limiter in the limiting uh, amplifiers at the receiver side okay so this is the total procedure how we are generating the fm signal in the direct fm transmitter with the use of reactance modulator thank you so much for watching our videos please subscribe to our channel keep supporting and stay connected bye bye